everyone so welcome to this requested brie bella makeup look now i did a nikki bella look so if you want to check that out it will be linked below but i felt like it was only fair to do brie as well because she can't be left out now so i'm just going to take my chocolate bar palette as usual and take salted caramel just to start off as a transition crease color um yeah so the eyeshadows can just blend flawlessly into this color i feel like this is a really good color to start off in the crease area. Then taking my Almond Satin Palette from Maybelline, I'm just gonna take that taupey ash color and place that also as a base on my lid. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I use these palettes a lot. They're just my starter palettes. So I'm just gonna blend more of that salted caramel into the crease again so we don't lose any pigment. Then I'm going to take this e.l.f eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this gray shimmering color and place that over the taupe and it's gonna create this nice shimmering effect over that matte color. So yeah, just blend it out. Then I'm gonna take the, a dark chocolate brown and put that on the outer V of my eyelid. You can tell that she had a bit of a darker color in the outer V of her eye. Then taking this orangey color from the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to blend that into the crease so you can get that more orangey shade that she has in the pictures that I chose to get inspiration from. Then I'm going to take this gold color from the Lorac Pro Palette again and put that over that orangey color because you can see that she does have a little bit of shimmer and this also adds more of an effect to the eyeshadow. It doesn't look so flat. Then I'm just going to take a white shimmering eyeshadow and place that underneath my brow bone area on the middle of my lids and also in the inner corners because she had lots of brightness. Then I'm going to take another darker gray color and place that on the outer V again just to get more darkness and depth in there and also you're going to want to bring that color down to your lower lash line and kind of create a mini cat eye shape. I looked at the picture very closely and it looked like that's what she had going on. Then I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush and then take your blackest eyeliner because she had this smudged liner like crazy. So just take your black smudgiest eyeliner and tight line your lower waterline and then your upper waterline. Yeah, you can choose to smudge that out as much as you want, but I kept it a little bit more clean just for a little bit more of an inspired look instead of a total copycat. So yeah, then I'm taking another black eyeliner and smudging it up on the top. The eyeshadow on the bottom already gives that smudged effect, so I didn't want to smudge it out too much. Then I'm going to go back with that orangey color and just touch up in the crease. So then I'm going to curl my lashes and take your blackest mascara to give you full volume. You can use falsies if you lack in the lash department, but it didn't look like she was wearing any falsies in this picture. I could be wrong, but it didn't look like it, so I didn't want to put any falsies on to mask this beautiful look. Also be sure to put it on your lower lash line so it could look more smokier down there as well. Then the eyes are complete, so now we're going to move on to the face. So I just took this e.l.f. palette and I took the more goldish bronzer color and placed that on my cheekbone area. She didn't look like she was wearing much blush, just a lot of bronzer, so make sure to pack on that bronzer. You are so lucky if you are tanned like her, but I am very fair, so yeah, I gotta pack on that bronzer to get those sculpted cheekbones. Then in my chocolate bar palette, there's a shimmer shade, and I'm just gonna use that as my highlight and place that over that bronzer on top of it so you can get that nice glowy skin because the Bella Twins have nice, beautiful, glowy skin. Their makeup artist is awesome. You should follow her. I think her, her Instagram name is Honey B. Eileen, something like that. And oh my God, she's amazing. Then taking Sore, I'm going to overline my lips a little bit because they all look like they overlined their lips except for like the natural ones. So yeah, and then I'm gonna take Pink Plaid by MAC to get that really nice pinky lippy. <laughs> 
that, that she has and I really loved it. I really want to know what it was, but none of the products are listed. Then to make a glossy finish, I'm going to take Cupcake by Revlon, which is a lip butter, and place that over it. And you're going to get this gorgeous lip color. I loved it. So there you go. That's the finished look. Thanks for watching.